everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. And if it's your first time, welcome. My name is Lauren and I post videos just like this one every single week. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to play the tune Pig in a Pen, so stay tuned. And as always, if you end up enjoying this video and finding it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, as I mentioned, I post videos just like this one along with other fiddle technique videos every single week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my future videos. As always, I'll have the timestamps included in the description if you'd like to skip around and be sure to stay tuned at the end of each section where we can play through the whole section together. And as a reminder, you can always adjust the speed of this video if you'd like to speed it up or slow it down. You can make those adjustments in your video settings. For this tune, we're gonna be in the key of G major. So we have one sharp and the first phrase goes like this. All right, so for that first phrase, we began and ended on the D string and you'll notice that I slurred those last two notes of the phrase, which you're also welcome to do if you're comfortable with it so that we land on a down bow for our second phrase. And the second phrase goes like this. All right, so we had a little scale pattern there going from A to B to C natural. So you'll have a half step between your first and second finger. Next, we begin on a B for this third phrase and it goes like this. So that time we started on the A string and we came down to the D string at the end. And for this next phrase, we're gonna be starting on our D, third finger on the A string. All right, so that was all of the A section. Now let's go ahead and play that A section together at a slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now getting into this B section, we start on a G, our third finger on the D string, and it sounds like this. Okay, so we had a quick little string crossing there between the D and A strings. And for this next phrase in the B section, we have the same rhythm that we did for the first phrase, but the notes are different, so be sure to listen for those. So hopefully if you're listening for patterns, as we should be when we're learning tunes by ear, you'll notice that the first phrase of the B section ended on a lower pitch, and then the second phrase ended on a higher pitch. So we went down the first time and up the second time. Hopefully we're able to differentiate between those two. Moving right along with this B section, we have the same ending as we did for the A section. So hopefully you recognize these notes. So we have that little walk down and then lastly again, we start on our third finger D for these last notes of the B section And that was all of pig in a pen. It's a nice short little tune Hopefully you enjoyed learning that and now let's go ahead and play this B section together one two three four Well, I 
hope you enjoyed learning Pig in a Pen with me today. If you are interested in taking a look at the sheet music for this tune, it is available in my digital sheet music library, which I always have linked in the description box of each of my videos, this one included. So if you're interested in that and want to take a look at it, feel free to do so. And if you want to add a little bit more to this melody, it is a pretty simple melody. If you're looking to kind of add some more layers to it, this is a great tune to incorporate double stops. So if that's something you're comfortable with, you're welcome to do that. Because we're in the key of G, we can easily incorporate open string drones into this tune. So I encourage you to experiment with that and have fun with it and see what you come up with. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you heard of this tune, Pig in a Pen, before? And if so, do you have a favorite version or recording of it? I would love to know if you're willing to share that with me. And again, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video, so why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Tune Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you!